When a disaster strikes, emergency responders for the Corps of Engineers are part of the quilt of volunteer efforts and the national response framework that drives the federal response. In order to be prepared for and work efficiently during an emergency, the USACE offers several tools and capabilities to its personnel. This section of Level 1 Civil Training will provide an overview of the tools and capabilities available to emergency responders, as well as a working knowledge of the PRT Level 1 and Level 2 curriculum. This video will provide awareness for the training and exercise suite of support tools and learning media, EngLink Interactive, the Remedial Action Plan Program, the Deployable Tactical Operations System, Corps of Engineers Mission Guides, Advanced Contracting Initiatives, and Standard Operating Procedures for Corps Missions. Information will also be provided on Field Operation Guides and the Readiness Support Center and its support capabilities. Training tools and capabilities for civil contingency operations include the PRT Level 1 and Level 2 training, which is thoughtfully designed for both awareness and task-specific training. It is provided in portable and in-residency formats with a professional curriculum for team leaders, assistant team leaders, emergency managers, and subject matter experts. Level 1 training includes awareness training mandated by the Department of Homeland Security and the USACE concept of operations training that introduces the novice to the doctrinal plans, processes, and procedures of PRT mission readiness, deployment, and mission tracking. It also includes baseline awareness courses required under the National Incident Management System. These distance learning courses are self-paced and provide assessments that are tracked by the Readiness Support Center to certify and provide credentials for responders. Level 2 training is task-specific and presents the information and activities core responders need to know and do to perform the required team-specific tasks in emergency situations. Training assessments are tracked by the Readiness Support Center and contribute to the certification and readiness status of all team members. Task-specific training is augmented by simulations and authentic task scenario-based exercises that replicate the experiences needed to perform tasks effectively in a disaster environment. Professional certification requires all prerequisite awareness training as well as the completion of professional level standards for emergency managers, which include team leaders, assistant team leaders, and subject matter experts. Annual workshops are held to nominate, assess, and elevate candidates to these limited positions of ESF-3 leadership. Another tool available to the emergency responder community of practice is the Tabletop Exercise Support Tool. The TTX-ST is a scalable, multimedia exercise tool that facilitates robust problem solving and decision making. It creates high fidelity learning environments with authentic task problems. The TTX-ST creates a video, audio and graphic image guide that arranges the scenario based event, moving from a wide angle perspective to establish an operational overview that brings the participants to a common entry level baseline of understanding, to a point in time that is very specific and timeline driven. The accelerated timeline assists in presenting problems requiring action in tabletop functional and full-scale exercises. The USA Simulation Suite or Sim Suite is a collection of simulation and modeling applications created by the Readiness Support Center built for the readiness community that allow for comprehensive disaster planning, response and preparedness. These GIS-based applications incorporate modeling functions and principles to spatially analyze predictive information. The simulation and modeling tool development thus far has been driven by specific requirements for deliverables with clearly articulated specifications from proponents and customers. The SIM tool describes the specific product in a generic sense and was the former name of the product in its initial experimental phases of development. The SIM tool has evolved into what is now known as SIM Suite. SIM Suite is currently packaged with four disaster-specific applications, including SIM Storm, SIM Quake, 
Sim Flood, and Sim Terror. These applications were built upon the lessons learned from the Sim tool. The current path forward targets the specific development of Sim Suite, both technically from a programming perspective and functionally from a requirements perspective. The aim is to achieve the development of a comprehensive 21st century simulation and modeling tool set. This tool set will complement the professional development program and enable future emergency management and risk management professionals to address both domestic and international life cycle system risk management challenges. It also targets the R&D and academic collaboration necessary to fully leverage USACE capabilities to support the development of a simulation and modeling program. When a natural or man-made disaster strikes, the Corps is tasked to provide immediate, comprehensive relief to all those impacted by the disaster. EngLink or Engineers Link Interactive is an automated information system or AIS which gives deployed personnel real-time access to critical information. EngLink has transformed the way the Corps responds to emergencies by providing the framework for processing personnel and data while performing command and control management of core elements. EngLink standardizes and integrates methods of collecting analyzing, forecasting, and presenting real-time information to the decision makers for civil and military emergency operations. The system compiles reports from the data entered at the site of the contingency operation and provides instantaneous reporting with a single data entry point that is shared throughout the organization. The increased efficiency allows more time to facilitate mission response. The accurate data from the previous day's entries are archived to provide historical data. The Remedial Action Plan, or RAP, supports the Corps' continuous efforts to improve the readiness of its emergency management community to respond to significant events in collaboration with DHS, FEMA, and other federal, regional, and state customers and partners. The Corps of Engineers Remedial Action Program, or CRAP, seeks to address the requirements for system-wide assessment and remedial action planning to improve overall performance. The USACE emergency responder can also count on the Deployable Tactical Operating System, or DTOS, when they deploy to a disaster. DTOS is a multi-level national emergency response system strategically located within core divisions to provide timely tactical support for continental United States forces and outside continental United States forces emergency response operations. The mission of DTOS is to provide a tactical operations and communications platform in forward areas to support the quick ramp up of initial emergency response missions. The Corps' DTOS includes 20 state-of-the-art Mobile Command Control and Communications, or C3, units, all strategically located. DTOS provides the platform for operations and communications in the disaster environment. DTOS mobile units are self-sustaining, generator-powered vehicles and trailers positioned to deploy within 18 hours to most areas of the country. Another indispensable set of tools available to the emergency responder are field guides. The Corps has developed an ESF-3 field guide and mission guides for each of the major ESF-3 missions. These guides not only assist the Corps in the execution of ESF-3 missions, but are also provided to the intergovernmental community to build state and local capabilities for disaster management. There are also field operation guides, or FOGs. FOGs are handy and easy reference guides that may be used in the field as a job aid and are usually produced in a pocket version. For example, the Quality Assurance Debris Fog is a quick reference guide to performing quality assurance inspections for debris missions. Such information as load measuring, safety guidelines, and load ticket information is contained in the Portable Pocket Guide. Other fogs include the Self-Help Blue Roof Installation Guide. The Advanced Contracting Initiative, or ACI, is a tools capability that allows for immediate activation of contract support in the wake of or in the advance expectation of mission-related events. Contracts are in place for power, commodities, temporary roofing, and debris removal and disposal. 
These are the contractual agreements that target, activate, and deploy contractor assistance before and during an event. Of course, there are also standard operating procedures, or SOPs, that have been developed and are maintained for each team. SOPs are the doctrinal specifications that provide the basis for each team's operating procedures. This document is updated on an annual basis at the SOP meeting for all PRTs, and the final document is published in EngLink. The procedures have detailed information on every facet of mission execution. This video has provided an overview of the tools available to emergency responders and a working knowledge of the PRT Level 1 and Level 2 curriculum. These tools include SimSuite, the Tabletop Exercise Support Tool, EngLink, and the RAP and CRAP programs. This module has also provided awareness training for DTOS, mission guides, field operation guides, advanced contracting initiatives, and standard operating procedures. Remember, the emergency management community is tight-knit and robust. There are always tools and capabilities available to emergency responders, whether they are training or deployed.